A line that intersects a circle in just one point is called a tangent, and the point where the tangent intersects the circle is often called the point of tangency. What we'll prove today is that the tangent to a circle at a point P is perpendicular to the radius at point P. So in the context of this diagram, we've got a circle with center O and this tangent line L where P is the point of tangency. So we're proving that this line L is perpendicular to this radius of the circle OP, which is the radius that meets the tangent line. So we're trying to prove that radius OP is perpendicular to tangent line L. This is a very useful result, so it's pretty important we know how to prove it. So let's do it. This is going to be a proof by contradiction, so we'll suppose the opposite of what we want to prove. We'll suppose for contradiction that the radius OP is not perpendicular to the tangent L. Remember how a proof by contradiction works. We suppose the opposite of what we want to prove and show that leads to a contradiction. Thus, the opposite of what we assumed must be true to avoid the contradiction. Now, what's useful about the contradiction argument here? Well, we know that right angles are useful. We're trying to prove that a right angle exists between OP and the tangent. But by using a contradiction argument, we're able to get a right angle that we can use in the proof. Remember, we're trying to prove this is a right angle, but of course we don't know that. But if we assume for contradiction that it isn't a right angle, well, there must be some other point on this tangent line L so that the segment from O to that point is perpendicular to the tangent. Once more, the segment from O to P is not perpendicular to the tangent line, so there must exist some other point on the tangent line, say Q, such that the segment from O to Q is perpendicular to the tangent line. One of the fun things of using contradiction in geometry proofs is we're drawing these diagrams and making statements that immediately seem wrong, because we can see it we can see that this does not look anything close to a right angle. We also see that OQ definitely looks longer than OP. But remember, the diagram is not the proof. It just assists us in making sense of the logic that is the proof. And logically, we can actually conclude that this segment, OQ, is in fact shorter than OP. How do we know that? Well, I'll offer two explanations. Firstly, the shortest way to get from a point to a line is the perpendicular. Since this is the perpendicular distance from O to the tangent line L, it must be shorter than any other segment from O to L, and so OQ is less than OP. Or here's another way to justify it. Remember that the angle sum of a triangle is 180 degrees. Now consider this triangle. Here is a right angle in the triangle, which means the other two angles, this one and this one over here, those must both be acute. In particular, we're interested in the angle OPQ. It must be acute because if it were 90 degrees or greater, then just between those two angles, we would have 180 degrees. Then you add in this angle, well, that wouldn't make any sense. A triangle can't have more than 180 degrees. So, I know this looks a little confusing with the angle brackets and the less than symbol, but we can conclude that angle OPQ, since it has to be acute, is less than angle OQP, which is a right angle. That's important because the sides of a triangle relate to each other in the same way that their opposite angles do. In other words, since this angle is less than this angle, the side opposite this angle, which is OQ, is less than the side opposite this angle, which is OP. So that's another way of justifying this inequality, that the length of OQ is less than the length of OP. All right, now why is that helpful? Well, remember, we're looking for a contradiction. Certainly, it would be a contradiction if we could prove that OQ is greater than OP, since we also just proved that OQ is less than OP. 
Now, why is it that to us, OQ looks certainly longer than OP in the first place? Well, OP is a radius of the circle, and OQ is made up of a radius of the circle and then some, so perhaps we can use that to get our contradiction. Let's say the point where OQ intersects the circle is called R. So, certainly one way of representing the measure of segment OQ is the sum of OR, this piece here, the radius, plus the remaining part, RQ. But since OP and OR are radii of the same circle, we could replace OR with OP in this equality. So we could write that this is equal to OP, since that's just another radius, plus RQ. But then the problem, of course, is that this quantity is greater than OP, because it's OP plus some other amount, and we know that the measure of RQ has to be greater than zero. Why is RQ greater than zero? Well, it certainly can't be negative, because the length of a segment can't be negative, but it also can't be zero, because that would mean that the point Q on our tangent line is actually here on the circle at point R. That's what it would mean if this segment had a length of zero. But that can't be, because this is a tangent line, and it's not tangent to the circle at point R, it's tangent to the circle at point P down here. Remember, the tangent only intersects the circle once, so this segment definitely doesn't have length zero either, which means RQ is definitely positive, which means OP plus RQ is greater than OP. That's important because remember what's on the left side of this equality string, it's OQ. So we've shown that OQ is greater than OP. So there's our conclusion, OQ is greater than OP. And that is our contradiction. Because remember, we demonstrated in two ways that OQ is less than OP. But now we have OQ is greater than OP. That means our original assumption must have been false. Thus, the radius to the tangent line is perpendicular. So the line tangent to a circle at a point P is perpendicular to the radius at point P. If you draw a radius to a tangent, they'll meet at a right angle. For a fun exercise, you might try to prove the converse of this statement. Prove that if the radius of a circle meets a line that intersects the circle at a right angle, then that line is a tangent. Let me know what you think about that down in the comments. So much for me, there's nothing here to hold on to, do I want to? Everything keep tomorrow